been a while, yeah? We're back. Dog Dynasty is back, Jack. It's been two years, and to say a lot's happened would be an understatement. Hulk is still the star of the show, but it has been a while since we've taken him out the train. I'm not sure how this is gonna go. Oh, jeez. Come on. Hulk's excited. Oh, I'm a little nervous. This is not gonna go good. I need Hulk to come to the bicep. But his eye contact right now is he's staring me down center, and that's making me a little uncomfortable. Oh my god. All right, ready? I'm ready. Oh, no! Woo, welcome back, Dog Dynasty back. There's a pile of poo right there, don't step in it. Here at Dark Dynasty Canines, we have the biggest and the baddest dogs in the world. We breed, we train, we're here to take over the globe. My clientele can range from just your average family home to billionaire, team owners, all type of celebrity clientele. The most expensive dog that I've ever sold is probably about 150,000. It's not too bad. So right now at GDK, it's still me, my wife Lisa, my two sons, Jordan and Jackson. It's been a couple years since we last filmed and a lot's changed. The kids have come leaps and bounds with where they're at in terms of training. There's still dogs everywhere in my house, obviously. It's a gang. So we're gonna bring out Kobe. It's pretty much part of the daily routine. It's just dogs, dogs and dogs. There's the man himself. Look at the old guy coming, look at this guy. Shoom, just like you asked, right up to the camera. Like, dude, dad, I've done this before. Done this before. All right, no, yeah. Dude, welcome back, boy. He's six years old now, about 130 pounds. Still a machine, though. Still a machine, still ready to go, 24-7. But a little older now, so we pace him just a little bit more. But he's uh, still handsome. Oh, Kobe, Kobe, bro. You don't gotta smash the camera guy now. Coming in hot. Bam. Right here we got Nikki, and we have her son, Simba. So Nikki's about four years old, Simba's about two. What's really unique about these dogs is they both have what's called heterochromia. It took me a while to learn how to say that. Heterochromia. Hetero, yeah. The eyes are two different colors. So his green eye is on the right, her blue eye is on the right. And you know, I've been offered 80 grand for him multiple times. No amount of money can get that dog for me. Raiden, what's up my boy? That's a cool looking dog. All right, so we got Raid in here. He's a special guy. He's from Kong's last litter. And look at him, he looks just like Kong. He's still a baby. He'll probably be about 130, 140 pounds. He's one of the dogs that I'm training. I'm excited to see where he ends up. He's gonna be the next superstar around here. This is Drake. He is from the Hulk and Nicki Minaj. He's about six months old. He's probably close to 100 pounds right now. He has the size factor in there, obviously from Hulk. He's just, I've just been kind of been shaping him to be the new office dog. Not too many plans in terms of training for him, just handsome. He's the champagne poppy, right here. All right, so now that we're caught up on some of the new guys, you already know it's time to bring out the king. The king must return. Hulk is probably the biggest pit bull in the world. Taking a hit from the Hulk feels like getting hit by a truck. He's such a gentle soul. As soon as people know the Hulk is around. It gets great. I don't think this dog has the most famous in this dog on the planet. So Hulk is eight years old, going on nine. That means he's 56 years old in human years. So he's up there, old fella. He spends a lot of time hanging out with me in the office, takes a lot of car rides with me, but exercise is really important. So, you know, he still makes sure that he, you know, he takes two, three good long walks a day. I don't push him too hard. Living the relaxed life now, you know. So it's been about a year since I trained with the Hulk at a high level. So today we're gonna take him out and we're gonna see what he's still got. I'm excited to see what he's gonna be like. You know, I think he'll be a little rusty. I think he might be a little bit stubborn in certain areas, but um, I think he's gonna come out full throttle. Now I'm excited. Well, I've taken some hits over the years. There was the time where uh, we first did the chair, over top of the car, in the car. I've had a ruptured Achilles, multiple stitches, multiple times, multiple concussions, getting smashed through crates and dragged around and sued. And you name it, I, I've been smashed into it. All right, so we're about to train with the Hulk. We got my wife, Lisa, here, and my oldest son, Jordan. Lisa is just kind of going to be the safety net, and we're going to let Jordan hold the dog and control the dog. Tell him to bark. Hulk smash! I've been really trying to get my kids to the next level with training, so I've been spending a lot of time 
you know, teaching them so they can kind of be ready when the time is there. I don't think I'm going anywhere anytime relatively soon. Hopefully not. But, um, you know, we start young and that's the key. You ready? All right. Holt's ready. Tell him the word when you want, whenever you want. Nope, the heart. Nope, grab them both. There you go. Hulk's doing well. A little, little stubborn on his outs, but I knew the stubbornness would be there. He's got, you gotta, he, you, you gotta, yes, vocalize, bro, vocalize. Bro. You gotta hear you. Out! Yeah, serious, out. serious tone. It's okay. Out! There we go. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. The people can say whatever they want, but that's a big dog. That dog weighs at least three or four times what he weighs. So to be able to even control him to that level is already impressive. I really don't mind bite sleeve, but the bite suit with Hulk, he, he, he bites very hard, so I'm not looking forward to it. I mean, he can honestly make you bleed through the suit. If he gets you in the right spot, just because he's old doesn't mean that the biting force is any different. We're gonna let Hulk perform one of his kind of favorite routines where he uh, smashes me from the chair to the ground. Very dramatic. Um, I think he loves it. He's a dramatic guy. Me, on the other hand, yeah, uh, generally hurts. If it's wrong, Marlon's missing fingers, and if Marlon's missing fingers, then we stop filming today. Oh God, man, F me, bro. I'm gonna have Lisa step in just to make sure that everything goes smooth. So Marlon's sitting in the chair. There's something they haven't really done in a while. I'm honestly more concerned for Marlon and his back uh, than I am for Hulk. All right, bring, oh geez. Come on, bring him up to me here. Just not, don't let him, don't let him yet. Bring him up so he just knows where he's going. Here, here, and here. Oh, I'm a little nervous, this is not gonna go good. Generally when you're looking, when you're training with a dog, their eyes will tell you where they're gonna go and his eyes are telling me that he wants to go right here, not here, so. He's staring me down center, looking like he wants to go to the chest and right now that's making me a little uncomfortable. He bites me in the face, he bites me in the face, it'd be a great shot, just take him to the hospital afterward. Oh my God, right, it's just not, it's not gonna get any better, it's not gonna get any better. He's very, he's very excited right now, so. Oh my God. All right, ready? I'm ready. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. Ah, oh, he's got like, oh my God, so much skin. Ow. Ow. I'm oh. definitely bleeding. Ow. Oh, don't let him rebite. Oh my God. Whew. Yeah, got through the skin on that one. I wish I could just, you know, every time we get in an argument, just pull Hulk out, like, get in the chair. Remember why I don't do this so often, but uh, I think I'm ready for another. That was really bad. So Hulk's coming at me. Fortunately, he goes for the bicep. As I'm coming down, he kind of pulled me to the right. So the chair went off center and was on one leg and I completely came down and landed on my neck, which was not the plan. I'm sure he's not gonna feel too good tomorrow, but um, he took it like champ. Dad, you're okay, I'm okay. Oh, it was great. I love training with Hulk, man. You know, and I love I love training with Hulk. It was great to be back with him. Great to, you know, see him so happy, you know, and, and so rare to go. So it was good. It was good. He still got it, which which I knew. I didn't I didn't doubt him for a second. I knew he still got it. Couldn't tell that he's eight. Couldn't tell that he's eight. You know, my guy's doing great. So even though so much has changed, we're still the biggest and the best in the game. Hulk is still the star of the show. Hulk is still the king, yeah? I'm just trying to Oh man, bro. Ah. We lost Kong just like out of the blue. He was like the heart of, of DDK. Kong's last breeding was with Nikki. We didn't plan on keeping any of these puppies, but given that it was Kong's last litter and how special he was to all of us, I think Kong kind of gave us a piece of what we needed to be able to say goodbye. Yeah. 